It is the Happy Camper Radio Show. I'm Skip. I am a happy camper. And no question about it, my friends. Hang around with us long enough. I promise we're going to make a happy camper out of you, Daniel. Hey! Back from a very long trip to yes, Mount Airy, North Carolina. Yeah. And Daniel, we had a blast. The toolbox was closed while you were gone. <laughs> That's the truth. Yeah, but I tell you what, I'm uh, suffering from a little, we call it jet lag, and no, we call it camper lag. Aha! Uh, man, this is the longest trip I've taken so far with the RV. Mm-hmm. But we had a wonderful time, and anytime we go camping, there's always a lot to talk about when we All get right. back. Episode 262 of the Happy Camper Radio Show is coming at you right now. And the Happy Camper Radio Show can be heard all around the world by great listeners just like yourself. You know where to find us. We're in all the major podcast directories. You can find us in iTunes, Podbean, Stitcher. Uh, you introduced me to Stitcher, I thought, oh, long, yeah, long, 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 time, long ago. time ago. I know? use Podcaster, but I know if you do like this show, uh, if you rate it on uh, Apple Podcasts and give us five stars, that helps uh, uh, find more people we're you know. always looking for stars aren't yep. we yep yes that most definitely you know <laughs> but hey you know you know you can find us there and uh we're also on the web too 24 7 at www.happycamperradio.com right down here uh-huh. yeah, okay yeah you can like us on facebook follow us on twitter at camp talker and if you want to be a subscriber to our youtube show you got to look us up there too yeah all right and once you find us click on that little box right down there okay with the pup tent inside of it uh-huh. all right Click on that, and you will be a subscriber to the show. You will never miss another episode, and you get to see Daniel and I's smiling face yeah. right here in the studio. Wow. What a treat. Yeah. So, Daniel, what did you do the whole time I was gone? I was missing the toolbox. <laughs> <laughs> that well, means, you know, uh, basically, I borrow a lot of stuff from Skip. Well, yeah, you, you do. <laughs> you know, hey, before we go on any further, uh huh. while I was gone, look what we got. Oh, what is that? Our lovely friend Rose Ah. out in California. She's been on the show a couple times. Yeah. A big fan of ours. It's an appreciation award. Happy Camper Radio. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yes. On your 10th anniversary. Yeah, you thought I was faking it. (laughs) I showed it to you. You didn't believe me. (laughs) Hey, I thought you doctored that up. I'm I'm not that good. Well, (laughs) I I had my doubts there for a moment. Uh, Okay. (laughs) <laughs> but now I'll tell you what, I couldn't find a better place to put this yep. award than on the console desk right next to Mr. Swanson. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Rose, we love you to death. Thank you so yes, very ma'am. much. I tell you, I wasn't expecting that, but, uh, Hey, it, it's, it's, it's a fit place right here for yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. You know, my, my, my. Yeah. So anyway, Daniel, I am back from a, uh, long trip mm-hmm. to Mount Airy, North Carolina. Now Mayberry. we, we, we planned this trip a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Right, and we got our reservations in, and like any camping trip, about a week ahead of time, mm-hmm. because I'm always on pins and needles, I go to NOAA.gov because oh, I've boy. got to see what the weather is going to be like. Well, see, you go to NOAA, and NOAA is known for flooding, so there's your problem right there. Well, I'll tell you, <laughs> when I looked at it for the first time uh, <sighs> a week ahead of our trip, uh, I, I was shaking my head because it looked bad all the way around. It's the mountain skip. That's what it does. Rain with a possible <laughs> thunderstorm. Rain with a possible thunderstorm. Every day I'm looking, I'm going, yeah. oh, my heavens. That's why you the know? mountains are so green. Well, you know, <laughs> and, you, and like we saw, we talked about, we just never know what the forecast is going to be. Mm-hmm. But uh, this is one time when the forecasters got it wrong. Oh. Daniel, we got up there right now. Sadie and I, we took our time uh being the fact that I'm hauling the RV, mm-hmm. uh, it was about an eight-hour drive. Considering Ooh. the fact that we stopped at every rest stop, ah. I had to get out and stretch. Sadie had to get out and do her business and everything. Uh, I had to jump in the back and uh, make a sandwich or do yep. you know whatever, and just just take it easy. I was going to take my time getting mm-hmm. there, but I wanted to make sure I got there uh, while it was still daylight. And mm-hmm. uh, we we've eventually got up there and got camp set up. Now, uh, this this is kind of unique, Daniel, because Back in 2019, mm-hmm. we were at the same campground. Oh, uh, yeah. And we did our show from I the campground. That. Yeah, episode 199. And you can find it on YouTube. You can uh, listen to it on the podcast. Look it up. It's episode 199. And uh, I was there with my brother and my cousin, Greg, mm-hmm. who came down from Ohio. 
And we uh, we were tent campers back then. Yeah, and uh, it. we we had the whole section of the campground to ourselves, and we we had a great time. Of course, it rained there too. Yeah. Okay, but uh, no, we had we did a wonderful show from up there, and uh, just like you, Daniel, I I'm the kind of a person you know you you're a state park guy. You've talked about that on the show quite a bit. Mm-hmm. If you go to a state park that you like, you know you're going to go back. Mm-hmm. This was the same situation with the Beechnut family campground in Mount Airy, North Carolina. Mm-hmm. We had such a wonderful time there back in 2019. Now, I stayed at the campground this go around here for the most part. Um, back in 2019, I tagged along my bro- my brothers because, uh, yeah. you know, they're, they're like, on the go they're people. Like, they're on the go <laughs> people like you and Deidre. You just can't sit still. Got ants in your pants. All right. Well, now, what did they do? I'm curious. Well, the neat thing about uh, the Beechnut Family Campground, it is in very close proximity to the town of Mount Airy. Uh-huh. Mount Airy, North Carolina, of course, is the birthplace and hometown of Andy Griffith, uh-huh. America's favorite sheriff. And I know you've watched the Andy Griffith show growing there, up as a kid. I mean, PBS, what are you kidding? Okay, yeah, well, you probably <laughs> couldn't, you couldn't appreciate it like I did when I was growing up. Okay, yeah. But uh, Mount Airy was the inspiration uh, for the town of Mayberry. Mm-hmm. And if you visit uh, the Beechnut Family Campground and take your family camping there, it's definitely a place that you're going to want to, going to, want to go visit. Um, you're not very far away. You're just minutes away from shopping. Uh-huh. A lot of activities. A I lot saw. Of, I was looking it up. Uh, they had um, they had a bunch of like a four wheeling um, uh, tracks and stuff and dirt bike stuff. I was when I was asking you, uh, I asked you when you were up there, what is there to do up there? And yeah, it's it's a it's a nice getaway. It's it's got some you know hiking paths and you know stuff like that, and it it looked pretty interesting. And they also have there, too, Daniel, the Andy Griffith Museum. Oh, yeah. All right. And you can see some of the artifacts and uh, things that took place uh, on the show. Mm -hmm. For example, the doors uh, that had signs on it. One says Justice of the Peace, and I think the other sign said Sheriff. Uh Those are the actual signs that were used in the show. And, of course, they're behind plexiglass because everybody would like to touch them and get their hands on them and everything, but can't do that. Um, it's definitely an attraction that you want to go visit. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can visit the Mayberry Courthouse. You got Wally Service Station. You got mm-hmm. Emmett's Fix It Shop. You got, um, I think it's Howard Sprague, the the county clerk. Mm-hmm. Okay, it just it's just a, a remembrance of the show. What about and Floyd the Barber. They you have got the, the Floyd the Floyd the Barber Shop up there right. somewhere. You got the Mayberry Hotel. There is a lot to see. <laughs> it's a tourist attraction, Daniel, and uh, people flock there all the time. All it's right. definitely a place that you, know, you want to go visit, especially if you got your young kids with you and everything. Uh, there are a few campgrounds in the area, but hey, hands down, the number one place you're going to want to go camping if you want a personal experience, okay? You want hospitality like there's no other. You want to visit the Beechnut Family Campground. <laughs> you know, uh, Todd, uh, Todd and uh, Patricia were fantastic show hosts. In fact, I had an opportunity to talk with Todd. Uh-huh. Let's hear what he had to say. Uh, we are basically a, we're, we're really family oriented campground here. We, we're based it off of, we love families. I got a big family and uh, and that's what we want to ensure that uh, it's, it's family oriented. Of course, we're Christian run. We don't allow alcohol and there's no party. You don't have to worry about two o'clock in the morning, your next door neighbor. It's just really, really, we got the greatest campers in the world. You know, when we started this 16 years ago, uh, the first thing we did was change the name to Beach Nut Family Campground. And also we do a lot of, we do church groups and youth camps and, and, and this is what we're all about. And you're not a very large campground, which, you know, there's a lot of space between the campsites. And uh, to me, that's very important. I'm sure it is to a lot of other people too. It is, it is. It's got, uh, well, the site you're on, that's, that's one of the biggest ones here. Of course, you got the pond. And uh, and it's, it gives you a little more room. I, I didn't. I've camped all my life, so I didn't like to be scrunched up. Of course, I didn't build the campground originally, but uh, we could have tightened it up and put a couple extra sites in. But we left it alone. It looked just good. Now, are you open year round? We open in April, first of April, and we close up the thirty first of October every year, seven months. Okay, and we all know too that Mount Airy is the birthplace of Andy Griffith, and of course, the town has been the inspiration for the Andy Griffith Show. So that is a big attraction. And you get a lot of Albert Towners here? We do. We got people from all over the world. We've had uh, 
during, even during Mayberry days, like the Opie lookalike. And, and then we've got, oh, this, of course, Barney and, and Andy, actually, well, he grew up in this town, and he actually went to church with my father-in-law at Grace Moravian Church in Mount Airy. And, uh, of course, it wasn't filmed here, but a lot of people think that it was. But, uh, of course, we got Mount Pilot, and, uh, which is Pilot Mountain here. And uh, Mount Airy is Mayberry, and uh, it's based off of, uh, you know, we got Snappy Lunch and Barney's Cafe and and uh, Bluebird Diner and Wally's Garage, and so it's pretty neat. A lot of people come from all over the country just to be uh, close to Mayberry. Yeah, Daniel, I'll tell you, Todd is just an absolutely wonderful guy. Um, not very many campgrounds that you're going to go to uh, where you find the owner coming around to socialize with you. <laughs> All right. Yeah. And, and I, I, I had an opportunity every day to talk with Todd. Uh, when you okay. love what you do, you know, yeah, you and, embrace it. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you. And, it, and we just, we just had a wonderful time overall. Now, considering the fact that back in 2019, we were tent campers, mm -hmm. this go around, we showed up with RVs. All uh -huh. right. Keep in mind, Daniel, this is a very small campground, uh -huh. right? Um, there's not that many sites compared to some of the larger ones. Right. But what makes this place so special is the fact uh, they have three fishing ponds there. Ooh. All right. They got catch and release ponds. All right. You're camping in close proximity to those ponds. Uh -huh. And you know me. I'm a lake person. You are. All right. I got to be you by the lake the no matter where I, I go. And get this. I stayed at site number 45. Aha. Uh -huh. That's my favorite number. There you go. Yeah. Next month, I'm back on Lake Lanier at site. 45. 45, yes. Uh, that's okay. your lucky number. It is. Yeah. And <laughs> I, I got to check that out no matter where I go camping. Uh, site 45 seems to always be the best. But uh, <laughs> no, my brother and I were tent, cam our tent campers back in 2019. Mm -hmm. uh, this time, we brought our RVs. I brought my Transcend Explorer. And my brother came down from Pittsburgh mm -hmm. with his wife and my other brother. And uh, they had their Coleman camper. We ah. got to camp side by side. Nice. Okay. Um, again, they're on the go, folks, just like you. And mm -hmm. I didn't see too much of them during the day. But, you know, I had Sadie with me, and uh, we, we just had an absolute wonderful time while we, while we were there. And like I says, Daniel, the hospitality, you can't, it can't be beat. Mm -hmm. All right. So, you know, it's one of those camp rides. You've been there before. No matter how long of a distance it is from home, you're going <laughs> to want to go back. And uh, yep. Todd and Patricia, thank you so very, very much for the hospitality and the great time that you showed us at the Beach Nut Family Campground. Now, if you do go there, they do have some amenities uh, that will, will keep you inside the campground. Mm -hmm. They've got a swimming pool there. All They've right. got a jumping pillow. they got a volleyball court. What is the jumping pillow? The jumping pillow is, is about the size of a full-size swimming pool. Okay. All right? And it inflates, and you get on there and you jump. Oh, like a bounce house. It's 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 one of those things, Daniel, that ah. wouldn't be able to keep you off it. No, okay. Okay. <laughs> I've been in one before. Hey, and they got a snack bar up there. Okay. Yeah, yeah you know, and uh, yeah, they've they've got a lot of things. It's, it's a cool. small it's a small campground, and they're open from April first to October thirty first. Uh, not not around during the winter time. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm sure they probably get more snow up there than we oh, do yeah. down here. Um, but yeah, you know, it's it's one of these campgrounds that you definitely want to visit. But at the same same time, you got to get your reservation in in advance. Mm -hmm. All right, so you want to go ahead and give them a call once you know what your travel plans are. Get your reservations in there so you can be sure that you have a spot. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, uh, if you want to uh, stay where I stayed, remember site forty five. <laughs> okay, but um, yeah, I, I've had a, I had a great time, Daniel, and I uh, I just can't say enough about uh, the Beach Enough Family Campground. Yeah, you, you got know, to use your drone too, didn't you? Yes, yes, you got to put the drone up and uh, all, you can't all really the videos. Do that at state parks the, and stuff. Hey, no, you can't. No, they're they're restricted. But yeah, uh, you know, keep in mind where we're at too. We're we're up there in the, in the mountain areas That's and everything. Be and it's beautiful, just quiet. Yeah, and uh, they they also have a, a a big trailer up there. It's the Watalate Coffee Company. Okay, okay. If you like coffee, and yeah. What do we had? We had a couple cups before we the did. show today. All right, we're you know, wired. <laughs> yeah, get <laughs> you can yeah, get your favorite beverage, and I tell you what, it keeps you coming back for more and more. Mm -hmm. yeah, so you know that you'll find that too when you go camping at the Beach Nut Family Campground. But uh, Mount Airy is a beautiful town, mm -hmm. and I, I've been through it before. Um, this trip, I, I didn't didn't go, and I was I was still suffering from the the drive. Ah. you know, and it's one of the things that I, I want to tell our, our, our fellow campers too, especially if you're new to RVing, just like myself. Uh, you're going to be hauling more gear. You're going to be hauling a load behind you there. You know, 
always plan an extra couple days if you're going to make those long distance trips. Mm-hmm. Like I said, this trip took me about eight hours to get up there. I think I left about nine thirty in the morning. I didn't get up there till like maybe three, four o'clock in the afternoon. Mm. Okay, so it, it was still daylight, but you know you're going to want to take your time. And once you do get there, and once you get set up, you know you need some time to relax. So <laughs> add a couple extra days to your trip if you're going to be making a long distance trip like like this one yep. here. Okay, and the same thing whenever you come home. Yeah, um, definitely. We always know. take a day off after we get back from a trip. You, you've got to. Yeah. yeah, you know, and um, for you, you're just, you're still a working guy. If, if you am, were if you yes. were retired like myself, <laughs> Daniel, you and Adidra would have accompanied me on this oh, trip. Definitely. And I'll tell you what. And, oh yeah. And Todd would have loved to have had you there too. Yeah. You know, we could we could have done our show get up there again. Pop up though. <laughs> I'm still a pop up guy, Skip. What are you waiting for? I I like yeah, my pop up. Yeah, well, I don't. I need. I, I need to get that waiting, awning. Yeah, what are you waiting for as far as the awning goes? Why haven't you done that already? It's not in the budget. We just got our house painted, and we got a new uh, catio built for all our cats, and uh, you know, we just you spent all one. your reserve cash. Yep. Is what you've done. We did. Yeah. Uh-huh. We did. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> wow. One day we'll get there. Yeah, but you know, so far, you know, I I can't complain about the weather, Daniel. Mm-hmm. All right, we had a fantastic time up there. Uh, I think Friday and Saturday was just absolutely beautiful. But, Daniel, Sunday, they're not going to let me off the hook. Uh-oh. Not for one day. All Uh-oh. right. Sunday, we the got we got dumped on up there, Daniel. It, it was terrible. Yeah. I, I was in the RV most of the day. My brother, my two brothers, and uh, my sister-in-law, it's they really were in the RV. Though. Like, I, I know. Like, not this rainstorm. It was not peaceful. Well, oh, actually, no. it's funny you say that because, like, I remember one time we went to a Myrtle Beach when I was a little kid, and we were right by the water, and I thought we were going to end up in the water at night. It was raining so bad, so it it can't be scary. <laughs> I don't mind a little drizzle. Yeah. Okay. Were you, you know, near trees? Uh, there were there were a couple trees I'd near. I'd be worried us. about that. <laughs> That, that's one of the things I always look for, too. Yeah. Um, I mean, these, these trees that were there look very healthy, so okay. that wasn't a big concern. Um, I can remember site number 88 that mm-hmm. I stayed at down at the R. Schaefer Herd Campground. That was the very first Army Corps of Engineers site that I stayed at. Mm-hmm. And I was a tent camper back then, and uh, I liked it because it was so close to the lake. Yeah. And I knew when I bought my new RV that I wanted to go back there, and I reserved site number 88, not thinking for a moment there is this absolute monstrous pine tree that I'm surprised Ooh. the authorities have not cut down by now. Yeah. But I'm parked right next to it, like two feet away from it. Oh, my goodness. And I'm saying to myself, if this tree comes down, no matter what direction, yeah, you know, oh, you know it's going to be over oh boy. at that point. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, so I'm a little mindful of the trees. And for myself personally, um, a lot of these sites that I'm visiting right now, the Army Corps sites mm-hmm. here in the metro Atlanta area, um, you know, you, you see a site, you, you enjoy camping there, you want to go back to it. But I always make it a point when I do visit a campground is to look at all the sites mm-hmm. and see maybe there is a campsite better than the one I'm staying at now. And I make a note of it. I've seen guys, um, guys and gals do this mm-hmm. at campgrounds. Um, they, they walk around with a notepad to find out <laughs> what are the better sites. So yep. when they come back there, and they're going to come back like they will at the Beach Nut Family Campground, like we did, mm-hmm. right? they're going to go for that better site. The best site for me is right next to the bathhouse. <laughs> well, you, being the fact that you're a pop-up guy, Daniel, yeah, you're going to need that bathhouse. Oh, yeah. Okay? And, you know, you would, you would definitely have... Uh, had a little bit of a hike up the, up there to get to the bathhouse at, at, at Beach Nut, but they got very clean restrooms so, up there. So it's funny. I remember when I was a little kid, and we we also had a pop up, and they had like they had a toilet thing, but it was just like a block, and it was just it was just like a uh, a thing underneath, and you just sat on it and did your business. I thought that was the weirdest thing in the world. I Where never was this? used it when I was a kid. Like it came with the pop up. It was like oh, uh, one okay. of the. Uh, um, uh-huh. I don't know. It was like a box, and then it had like a uh, a toilet seat on top, and it was just like into like almost like a bucket. And I thought that was the weirdest thing. I, I think you were supposed to fill it up with water or something, but like I I used to have one of those yeah. when, I, when I was a primitive camper, yeah. and they do they do make these these toilet seats that yeah. actually sit on top of a bucket. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. you know, and I know a lot of guys that are camping right now that do use that. That's weird. It's weird, you know. And you you better have a partition in your your uh, <laughs> your, your tent or they your, have your RV. Tents. They actually have tents uh, that like go around the uh, bathroom like that. 
Uh-huh. Like like it, it's like a out it's like a outhouse tent almost that goes around it. So you have a little bit of privacy. Yeah. <laughs> and tell you what, no, they've they've got very clean restroom facilities. That's up what there I'm talking and, about. And, and, and believe me, I, I I've used for. them. I've used them before when when we were primitive camping. Yeah. Okay. But uh, you know, th- again, this is a small campground, and it's uh, you know the, you got a campground like this, and you got terrific campground hosts like Todd and Patricia. You know, you you just got to go back. Mm-hmm. You got to, and uh, I, I really enjoy the hospitality. Well, are they associated with anyone like Coast to Coast or like a uh, any kind of member club? Because I know. Like when we, when I was a kid and we were, uh, we were coast to coast members, there was a lot of private, uh, campgrounds that you could go to and, you know, they were really nice. I was just wondering if, uh, not that I'm aware of, but you know, you can go to their website and they've got a whole lot of information right Mm -hmm. there. It's beachnutcampground.com. And, uh, you know, we've got some, uh, got it right down here in front of us. Uh, Oh, there it is. Uh Yeah. Okay. You found it this time, Daniel. Yeah. (laughs) It's invisible. Yeah. But anyway, um, I'm, I'm looking forward to my next visit mm-hmm. to Mount Airy. Um, again, it's a drive, no matter where you're coming from. Okay. But the neat thing about it is it's a campground that's right off the interstate. Ah, nice. I-74 and I-77, I think it's exit number eight. Mm-hmm. You get off there and you're just like a minute or two away. Mm. Okay. And you, it just nestled back there in the woods. You've ah, got privacy. Nice. you got the I fresh like air you're going to breathe. You know, and unlike... A lot of the bigger campgrounds, mm-hmm. the sites are spread far enough apart. I like that. All right, where you're not listening to the conversation yep. that your neighbor is having next door. Mm-hmm. Uh, I I know one of these campgrounds that I look to because I'm going to be going to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina next uh-huh. year. Okay, actually, I'm going this fall and again the following year mm-hmm. because I got into the Grand Design Rally. You we did. talked about that on yep. the show uh, the last episode or the episode before. But uh, I was looking at some of the other campgrounds in that area. And Daniel, this is a big turnoff to me. When you get a campground with a site so close together Mm -hmm. that, you know, you've got to maneuver your way in there and you've got no privacy whatsoever. I I can't stay there, Daniel. I can't. The state park there is nice though. I know that. I know that's nice. A lot of the army Corps sites are that way. Oh, nice. Yeah. You've got plenty of space between you, you and your fellow campers. Mm -hmm. And that's what I liked about beach nut. Oh yeah. they, you've got that space available and you've got your privacy. There was one uh, situation, and I, I I saw this on YouTube, where a guy showed up at one of these big campgrounds, mm-hmm. and he had to maneuver his fifth wheel in there, and he got so close to the person next door to them that his RV damaged their awning. Oh no! Yeah, that's Yikes. that's terrible. That that's yeah, yeah, I, I just Yikes. no, I I could not stay at a place like that. Mm. Okay, you know you you got to have that fresh air, you got to have that breathing room. All right, and you got to have plenty of amenities, especially if you got young kids. Mm-hmm. You know, um, you know, you just have a place that you can go to, like yeah, beach nut, and, and have, have so and so many things yeah. to do while you're there. And that's what makes this place so special. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm looking for my next trip up there again. So, when is your next camping trip, Dana? Have you got one on the on the horizon? I don't know. I'm sure I'll be doing a hiking trip at some point. Uh, I don't know. We don't have anything planned so far. I mean. Uh, no, not really. No, I mean, I this, to think this, about this, it. this entire summer, you have not actually been camping at all. Uh, well, you know, I did that thing with Gary. It, it's funny. It's funny. <laughs> it's so funny that now that you've gotten to the RV uh, life. You're getting more primitive. I've I've been doing a lot more backpacking and hiking kind of stuff. I've used my, I've used my uh, tent, I think, more than I've used my pop-up. I know for sure that I've used my tent more than my pop-up, but... You know, we'll, we'll that's, get out that's, there. That's for certain. You know, and August is just around the corner here. So, yep. you know, next thing you know, it'll be September and October, and the cold weather will be moving in. And I've got a few more reservations I've got to get into yeah. uh, before the end of the camping season. But, um, you know, I uh, made sure that the, the truck was in good shape. I took it down here and had new brakes put on it. And nice. they did a, you know, complete top to bottom check on it to make sure I could make it up to Mount Airy and mm-hmm. back. And it, uh, everything worked out just fine. Uh, nice. The weather was great coming up. The weather was great coming back. But, you know, you, you've got to be able to take that time. And I, I've learned a lesson about this. It's not driving up there like it was back in 2019 when mm-hmm. I had a small pull along trailer with yep. all my camping gear on. And this time I'm hauling that big RV. Oh yeah. Okay. And wow, does you that eat, it. does that eat gas even yeah. even on the interstate? But you know you don't think about things like that. Mm-hmm. You just go up there. You know you're going to relax. You know you're going to have fun. You're going to have a great time all the way around. 
And it was so great to see my brothers again. I haven't seen them in a long time. Mm -hmm. Uh, But, you know, we were able to get together. I've seen my brother's RV before. He, this is the first time he saw mine. Oh, you didn't say uh, what, what he brought with him. Well, yeah, but he, I, came I up. He, he brought brought his Coleman camper. I know, but on the back to cover the tire. Oh, Daniel, yes. I the, can't the, believe the, you <laughs> forgot that. Oh, my God. I just thought about that. I'm glad you did because oh I, I would have gotten, gotten through this show and I would have oh thought about gosh. it. Wow, I didn't even mention this. That is crazy. You know, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes when you least expect it, yeah. you're going to get a gift yep. from your family uh-huh. that you didn't expect. Uh-huh. And... My brother was flagging me toward the back of my RV, and he had his phone up. I thought he wanted to take a picture of me and Sadie. Right. And I had Sadie by my side right there on the leash. And I walk back, and I just turn to my right, and there, Daniel, Uh right on the spare tire of the (laughs) RV. I couldn't be more proud, Daniel. Yeah? What was it? Happy Camper Radio. There you go. The Happy Camper Radio logo was there. And I'm going, oh, my heaven. That, you know, and, Dan, that was... That was just so, so nice of you to do something like that. And I had something like that in mind for a long yeah, time, Daniel. Yeah, I, I, I was saying, one. I was saying that I got to get, get one of these here. Yeah, I know. It's and crazy it's, that our fans have one and we don't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and I can recall there was a time that I sat down on a computer and I looked up one of the companies that made these okay. customized tire covers. Yeah. And I actually took our logo and everything, put it in there, say, wow, I wouldn't this like it? And I didn't yeah. do anything with it. Hmm. And never thought for one moment that my brother would go to the extreme that he did yeah. to get this made. And on the way home, Daniel, I was so proud to have that <laughs> on the back of my RV. That is awesome. I even showed it off there at the West, yeah. the rest stops. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, you know, there may have been a uh, hundred thousand motorists on the road there with me go. on the way back from Mount Airy to, uh, Lilburn, Georgia, mm-hmm. but they got to see happy camper radio. Yeah. I got to hope, get hopefully those. that they had uh serious XM in their vehicle, whatever <laughs> they were able to tune into the podcast. There you and, go. You know, once you see happy camper radio, yeah, you've got to look us up, yep. but you know, check us out there anytime, you know, we're on the web there 24 seven. You can find us there on the website and uh, any one of the podcast directories and you want to definitely check us out on youtube Mm -hmm. because you know back considering 2019 daniel we Uh didn't have all this fancy stuff back then okay no we got we got a professional broadcast studio now that we're actually doing the show high class yeah you know it but uh having a great time like we do daniel i I couldn't do it anymore Mm -hmm. all right than i'm doing right now and speaking of right now daniel you know what time it is don't you time for the campground of the week our oh, featured no. campground of the week right here on the Happy Camper Radio Show. Happy Camper Radio. Daniel, we've been talking all about it on this show today. Mm-hmm. And why not feature them again yeah. like we did in 2019? Uh-huh. Our featured campground of the week is the Beechnut Family Campground in Mount Airy, North Carolina. The Beechnut Family Campground is a wonderful campground. If you have a family, they are a very Christian-oriented campground. No alcohol is permitted there. All right. but That's the place that you're going to want to go if you want top-notch hospitality from the campground owners and the campground host. Yeah, the Beechnut Family Campground is located close to Mount Airy where you can find the Andy Griffith Museum. Anything related to Mayberry is going to be found right there. The inspiration of the show, Mayberry is Mount Airy, North Carolina. And like I say, you know, we've got uh, all kinds of shopping facilities. Everything is everything is within a very short driving distance. Nice. Uh, you know, if, if you're like me, you're going to bring everything to camp. Of course. You're not going to do your shopping when you get there. But, you know, if you're looking to get out and, and do some things, if you want to go get a pizza somewhere, you can find it, okay? they got a Super <laughs> Walmart there. There you go. And I know my brother stopped up there at the Super you Walmart a few, a few times. Yeah, we... We made a, a big apple dump cake while we were there. Got to cook that back. In <laughs> yeah, you had him go for you, right? Hey, you're, darn right hey, you're darn right, Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't leaving camp. I, you know, I, I don't leave camp for anything. But, you know, this, this campground is just absolutely wonderful. They have, uh, you know, a couple of tent rentals there. You know, if you want to go ahead and, uh, you know, if you don't have a, a tent, you know, mm-hmm. you just want to. They can, they can even have hammocks that they, they rent. Ooh, yeah. Love me a hammock. So, you know, and, and the grounds are very well kept, very well kept and maintained, too. Good. You know, you, you want to go ahead and visit your snack bar. They've got a swimming pool, the jumping pillow, like we say, the volleyball court. They've got it all. they got plenty there to keep you and the family busy. 
But again, keep in mind, too, that they are only open from April 1st to October 31st. It's a small campground, and you've got to get your reservations in early. So once you know your travel plans, go ahead and pick up the phone and give them a call at 336 504 5012. You can find them on the web at beachnutcampground.com. It's an absolute wonderful camping destination. Anytime that you're looking to get to North Carolina, if you want to drive up there just a short distance away from I-74 and I-77, it's the Beachnut Family Campground. And it is our featured campground of the week right here on the Happy Camper Radio Show. Skip and Daniel. Oh, yeah. And if you have a campground you'd like for us to feature on the program, all you got to do is get in touch with me, Skip, S-K-I-P, at happycamperradio.com, or the guy who always got a bandana. Hey, it's Daniel at happycamperradio.com. And be sure to include a link to the campground website. Well, Daniel, that's going to wrap up today's edition of the Happy Camper Radio Show. I love going camping, but I always like coming back home and be here with the studio with you, doing yeah. what we do best. <laughs> talking up camping for 10 plus years yeah remember friends every pet deserves a loving home i want you to do exactly as i did visit your local shelter and adopt a pet today you can find us on the web we're there 24 7 at www.happycamperradio.com like us on facebook follow us on twitter at camp talker and be a subscriber to our youtube channel definitely do that uh-huh. the happy camper radio show is a presentation of skip uber productions i'm skip i am a happy camper daniel's a happy Woo. camper and you better believe it friends hang around with us we'll make a happy camper out of you talk to you again real soon you're listening to happy camper radio happy camper radio